My name is Michael McKeever. I'm a full-time faculty member here at, at Santa Rosa Junior College. My classes are on the Petaluma campus. Um, so I'm full-time with the Computer Studies Department. The program that I lead up and most of the classes that I teach are within computer networking and computer security. I find that a lot of people today are very interested and concerned about computer security, cybersecurity. Um, there's a discussion with law enforcement about access to that encrypted data and that encrypted information. We hear about a desire on the part of law enforcement to have a back door or a way to get into the operating system for iPhones, for Android devices, for computers, so that they can decrypt the information that's stored on those machines. So the question is, you know, what, what are the trade-offs? Do we give law enforcement a backdoor? Do the, does the tech industry want to do that? It sort of breaks their business model when Apple touts the fact that the iPhone is a very secure device and you can conduct business on it and not worry about somebody getting that information later or in transit. It's a concern that we have in business. If I've got intellectual property or information that I want to stay secure, if I'm transmitting it to somebody else that's a business partner, Maybe I'm a new startup and I need to keep the intellectual property that of my startup secure. We need that level of security. On the other hand, law enforcement has a legitimate right and a need to get information and data that could be used to prosecute a crime, to stop something before it happens, um, before a terrorist attack happens. So that's the trade-off. If we create a back door, hackers are going to learn about it. It's inevitable. If there's a weakness, with the cryptographic system or with the operating system, if there's a vulnerability there that gives law enforcement a legitimate access, hackers are going to find it and that whole hacker community is going to know about it and it's going to be publicized. It's inevitable. A lot of people go to Starbucks and go online and think that they're secure. Maybe they're not secure. Well, if you're on a Starbucks open access Wi-Fi network or at an airport or at Pete's Coffee or at, you know, at a restaurant. If you go to Europe, um, you'll find Wi-Fi access that's all over the place. All those things are not secure. Even if they say they're secure, it's possible to grab your information because it's just wireless in the air and anybody can sniff that and give it enough information and time, it could be decrypted. So you should never do any kind of financial transactions on one of those public access wireless networks, banking information, you know, any kind of credit card information, anything that you want to keep secret should never really be sent across a wireless network. If you want to learn more about this kind of thing and you're a student at the JC, there is a club on the Petaluma campus. It's the Petaluma Computer Security Club. You don't have to take any of my classes or the networking classes to join. You can just come and, and learn about some basic security things. There are cyber competitions that you can join. Um, if you're interested more about you know, a career in this, programs, uh, the JC program that we have for cybersecurity and information security, you're welcome to contact me.